God damn, let's go. <laughs> God damn bastard all lying about me, making up stories. I saved her. Oh, so anyway, let's go. I think I went this way, pretty sure I did. You there, Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? I believe you're mistaken. <laughs> Back off, I'm not Padawan, I'm Kip Astar. <laughs> I've heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. I'm telling you the truth, bitch. <laughs> I'll stab you my soul if you carry on. <laughs> Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. <laughs> it was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. Yeah, yeah, shit up. Right, I'll kill you. <laughs> Alright, I don't know when through there, but let's explore through here. Actually, I don't think we can actually go up there. Never mind. Well, we'll come back to that, because I know what's up there. there are quite, quite a few stuffs. Quite a few stuffs now, there's some stuff up there. Can have a look. Oh, calf. They're waiting for you inside. No, oh, come on, come on, calf, come with me. Come on. Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vrook, Master Vandal, <laughs> and of course the Chronicler of our Academy. Master Dorak, Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. Jeez, that Yoda. <laughs> okay, so joke is with that Yoda is um it was a Twitch show with Sono's high on death sticks because his eyes are crazy and he looks like a Walmart Yoda. So <laughs> um so you drove me to your little trap, Bastila. What now? <laughs> this is no trap. The council just wants to talk to you. There is much that needs to be discussed. Isn't the Jedi Council in Coruscant? <laughs> yes. The High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant. But we are the council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. What do you want from me, yeah? Goddamn, stop wasting my time. Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Strong in the force. <laughs> Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire council can feel the strength of the force within this man. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck, there is only the force. <laughs> We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? <laughs> like a curse? Of course, great Jedi. I will learn your ways and follow the light. <laughs> Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order. But you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead. Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one, and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. <laughs> we shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. God damn. Wait, Cass, a telepod. Calf, you're a hacker. Oh god, he ain't got his eyes closed. <laughs> oh god.
The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. <laughs> Shut up. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? <laughs> He's like, yeah, clearly. Just going anyway. Shut up. <laughs> This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. I had a rough night. <laughs> I had a rough night. Too much booze. Well, I can't say I blame you. I, I haven't exactly been sleeping well myself. Here, I thought things would get better once we escaped Terrace. She said anything else, yeah. No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you all right? I had a rough night. Let's go. You got it. <laughs> let's, let's bring Carthus. Um, let's bring Mission, actually. What mission can be leveled up? Oh, Mission seems rather distant. We should talk to her. Okay. Sweet Mission. Huh? Oh, sorry. I was thinking about Terrace. I still can't believe it's gone. I mean, I grew up there, and now it's... It's just gone. Um. <laughs> Tess is always like, get over it. <laughs> Melody will pay for what he did. Because I'm strong. <laughs> yeah, I know. The Jedi got rid of Revan, so. I figure Malik's days are numbered too. But that doesn't make the pain go away, you know? Look. I'm not saying I can't go on or anything like that. It's just. It's a shock, you know? I mean, I knew the Sith were evil and all, but the reality of it kind of slaps you in the face. But I suppose that's why we need to stop Malik, right? The more time I spend dwelling on Terrace, the more chance some other planet will get wiped out. I guess that's what it comes down to. So don't worry about me. I'll be okay. And if you need my help against Malik or the Sith, I'll be there for you. Oh, God damn. At least we got a bunch of soldiers with us. With us. <laughs> if we can actually talk. Get out of here, Deezra. Oh yeah, crap. Mission needs to level up. Level up. You got mission level you up skills, um, demolitions, stealth, security, tree injury, very nice, and sneak attack, um, four, very nice. Attributes, um, I guess called dexterity, that's all she wants really. Hmm, yeah, just the same as before. I think I put anything into tree injury, so let's put it into computer use. Feats, um, I mean, I guess that is pretty nice, actually. The plus one attack from plus, um, Blaster Pistols. Because she does, she does use that. Then again, the toughness would be nice as well to give a bit more health. Then again. <laughs> um... Oh, yeah, let's do the sniper shot. Why not? Master it out. Yes? Let's go. Come on, kid, let's go. <laughs> but like, uh, I'll slaughter you for talking to me how you did. You skin big. <laughs> let's go. Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. To lie. <laughs> I don't know what Bastler is talking about. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> what how would Bastler know if we shared a dream? <laughs> she says she has felt your presence within the dream. The presence she has felt within you. Ever since... Master Vandar. Ever since Taurus. It is not unknown for this to happen between two people strong in the Force. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. 
It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. <laughs> Am I having a vision now? <laughs> you and Bastila share These are goddamn strong death sticks. Goddamn. Each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student, but rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us, together. If yeah, that doesn't answer my question, am I having visions right now? <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you saying I'm joined with her? You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? <laughs> of course, Master Day, seek to follow the light. <laughs> Just lie. Good. It is well that you see how important this is, and have the devotion <laughs> to follow it. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side. Giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their Dark Lord. <laughs> Jedi turn to the dark side? Do not fear, masters, I will not fall. <laughs> Screw you, bastards. <laughs> Just try to lie to them. <laughs> if Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall, and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny not seen for a thousand generations. The Council has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of once the Council deems you ready. Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted, and perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. <laughs> of course, Mess, there's anything for the light. Oh, so I'm ready now, I accept this mission. The Force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you're willful and headstrong. A dangerous combination. Before Shut up, old man. You, investigate the ruins, <laughs> you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. Who do you take me for? <laughs> we don't have time for this. <laughs> you must learn patience and discipline. The ruins are a place of corruption. The dark side is strong there. We cannot risk sending you there unprepared. We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. The hey, stop hitting me, bitch. Will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the Order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. Shut up. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great <laughs> discipline. She's weak. Take that. Yet even Revenge. though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited. And your progress, amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. <laughs> Bastl looks pissed. <laughs> done in weeks what many cannot do in years. Why does she look so angry? You Say, you motherfucker. <laughs> what? Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. Um. 
What must I do to prove myself? In the traditions and customs of our order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. I am ready for the test, Master Zar. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. Wait, dark side points? X I lied. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Let's save that. Greetings. I'm ready to continue my train. Let's go. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of in the tradition of okay. custom. Okay. You've already told me. I'm ready. These tests will s first. You must now prove there is no emotion. Uh. Uh. I was trying to see. That is <laughs> God damn it. No shame in admitting weakness. Return when you feel you are ready. Shut up. You son of a bitch. You rigged me. Tripped me up on purpose. I talked to Bastler. If you have questions, you should direct them toward the Jedi Council members. Whoa. What? You just said like they said to me. If I have any questions about my training, talk to Bastila. Then she's like, "Nah, fuck you. Go talk to these other people." <laughs> Good evening, apprentice. Jedi code. All Jedi must know the code. Its tenets are the fundamental teachings of our order. Think and meditate on these truths, apprentice. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the force. I have faith. Alright. <laughs> I, I wouldn't even listen in properly. I was like, yeah. Cause I've heard it so many times. Okay. I guess I'll just guess. I'll, I'll just keep it for my spine until I get it right. Yep, I'm ready. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is Knowledge. There is no passion. Oh, fuck. Um, there's Serenity. There is no oh, chaos. well. Um, there is Harmony. There is no death. There is a Force. You have <laughs> oh, yes. Well, Too easy. It will not be long before you are a full member of our order. But first, you must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi. The very symbol of our order, the lightsaber. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, yeah, yeah, shut up. Must <laughs> now it is your time. Speak with me. Right, let's go. God damn, I'm good. I still can't believe I guessed that though. I just let spam through it. I try to remember briefly what it was and then to click him. Right, it's this dude that gives us our crystal, I believe. Is it Dorak Holomar? I see you in How we go. Shut up. Ah, you have come, young apprentice, and the time has come for you to choose the colour. Alright, what colours are there? Blue is the colour of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. Um, let me be a guardian, goddamn. Indeed. We shall see. I will now ask you questions, and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Attack the thugs. <laughs> Indeed. Very well. 
On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Attack him again. <laughs> Try to see a weakness in his technique. Just attack him again. <laughs> yes. Yeah, now for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? <laughs> Knock. <laughs> I am beginning to see a pattern here, Atlantis. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Um... Hunt them down like the pigs they are. Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected, you would be most suitable as a Jedi Guardian. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited to, Apprentice? Jedi Guardian. Here is a blue crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again and he will instruct you in how to construct it. Too easy. There we go. This is why we're saving up these levels. Now, we get to invest... A crap lot of levels into Jedi Guardian. For instance, if when you leave Taras, you're about level eight, which means to be level eight soldier and level twelve, we can go to get to max in a level twelve Guardian. But with this, I get level fifteen Guardian. So just some extra levels, extra force abilities. You can do it with less actually. I can do it with um, less force. You can do it, well. You can do it with less levels. Sorry, you can like get to, like level two and then you have eighteen in your force powers. But I wouldn't recommend doing that. It's very difficult. The only time I'd recommend doing that is if you're for a full blaster build. But even then, it's very difficult to do. Um, yeah, I guess Persuade. I'll learn Force Heal anyway. So it's alright. Right, um... I need extra health, like, badly, so I'm gonna get Toughness straight away. But then again, Lightsaber, hmm. Now it's good, I need Toughness. I need Toughness, like, really badly. Alright, um... These are really good. The wound path and the drain life as well is really, really good. And lightning. They're all pretty good. Um, I'm going to go for false wound. Oh wait, I've got two. Very nice. So wound and lightning. Accept. Now I can level up again. Look. Level 5 soldier, but then the rest is going to go into Jedi training, which is really nice. It's got treat injury, powers. Hmm. I guess we'll go for a fast cure. Why not? Level up attributes. Another one into strength. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, there we get a plus 3 modifier on strength, and I'm not going to level that up anymore after that. Skills. Um, Let's go persuade. Feats. Ooh, Crit Master of Critical Strike is pretty good, but Master 200 Pirate Weapons, I need that. Powers. Ah. Uh. Hmm. False Resistance, False Mini, that's pretty good. Um, I know there's like a Jedi Mind Trick one. Yeah, it's this one, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty good because I like it. Like, you, can, you can force, force my, you can. It opens up extra dialogue and stuff. The people, it's really nice. Let's level up anyway. Um, let's go tree injury. Actually, yeah, tree injury again. Why not powers? Hmm. I mean, I could go for one of these ones, but I don't know. False resistance is pretty nice. It says energy resistance, so. Ooh, choke. Or oh, force lightning. Hmm. Or oh, fear to insanity, that's pretty good. Stun droid, that's they're nice as well, they're really nice. Um let's go force lightning. It's really good. It's it's really, really good. Um Let's go persuade. Powers. Um Go force choke. Get some good abilities nice and early. There we go. I leveled up level 10. Nice. Got 10 levels to go. Carth, tree injury, straight up. 
Um, for Karth, he needs. Yeah, let's give him some extra health. Why not? I got 108. How much have I got? 130. Jesus Christ. That's insane. Let's all have a mission real quick. I'm um, gonna the same as always. Tree injury, yep. Sneak attack five, nice. Right, sure. let's go. God damn, let's go.